Good morning, tubers. Matt M. Roy back once again. Back to you on Saturday, March 9th of 2019. I'm not going to say 2018 anymore. Uh, a very cold, um, kind of dreary Saturday. I actually went to two garage sales earlier, um, and they were okay. It was the only two that were in the area. You guys have been asking me for garage sale slash yard sale videos. Well, there just haven't been any because of the weather, but I went to two today. The first one was an estate sale, and that was kind of a bust. Um, unfortunately, estate sales usually are that way uh, because generally they have older items, you know, kind of more antique items, stuff that I have no idea what to do with. A lot of you guys probably would. Um, the second garage sale I went to actually paid off a little bit better. I wound up getting a 22-inch Westinghouse um, LCD TV slash monitor. Uh, I paid four bucks for that, and then I got a Samsonite computer case, a laptop bag for a dollar, which I'll show you guys this stuff later. Um, but that's it. That is literally all of the sales that are in the area today. The only other one was more of a um, specialty sale. They were selling like those beanie hats, but there wasn't any like garage sale type fodder there. So right now I am heading over to Hampton. I'm going back to the Goodwill um, Retail Center. I keep calling it the Distribution Center because that's what it was called when um, it was off it, over in Virginia Beach. Now that they moved to Hampton, they call it the uh, Retail Center. I want to see if they've gotten any more uh, computers in. I know that they were going to put some bare bones systems out the other day. And I actually called up yesterday and talked to one of the guys there, and they told me that they put three of them out yesterday. So hopefully they're still there. Um, don't know what else we're going to get to today. I know that I'm going to get something there. I don't know if it's going to be any of those towers. might be some parts, but whatever I get, I will go ahead and show you guys. Wow. It is really windy out right now. Um, the wind started picking up about an hour ago, and it's starting to push the car side to side. So let me go and pause the vlog. I need to concentrate on driving. We'll see what the rest day brings and I'll talk to you guys on the flip side. All right, tubers, about to go through the Monitor Merrimack Memorial Bridge Tunnel. Um, something I wanted to talk about yesterday, but I didn't really have a chance to vlog. I wanted to say I really appreciate all you guys um, commenting uh, those kind words after I did the video about the uh, life and stuff, the live stream, um, as pertains to the Asperger's and the ADHD, and I think that hit a really good note with a lot of you guys out there. Um, I'm glad, I, well, I don't want to say I'm glad, but I'm, I'm happy to see that I'm not the only one that can benefit from videos like that. I know there are a lot of people out there that are struggling with that particular condition, either the ADHD and or the Asperger's, and it's not something that we talk about enough. Um, living with that is, is a daily struggle. It really doesn't get any easier, like there is no cure for it, but there are coping mechanisms that we develop over the years, you know, things to help us in social situations. Um, possibly medications that help uh, focus us better because being somebody like me that has the ADHD, the attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, and the Asperger's, it's like a double whammy for me. Um, give you guys a good example. This morning at breakfast, um, you know, I try to join in the conversation, but for me, it's like an all or nothing deal. I tend to talk a little too much and not listen enough. And again, that really is a lot of uh, the ADHD coming out. But I've learned over the years to help myself control what I say. Like, I know that after I make my statement, whatever it is, um, I need to go ahead and just quiet myself down and let the other person talk. And my biggest problem over the years was always uh, interrupting people. Um, a lot of times I would interrupt somebody because I'd feel, not only would I feel that what I was about to say was more important, but I was afraid that I would forget what I was about to say. And I realized that if I forget what I'm about to say, then maybe it wasn't all that important to begin with. So keep that in mind if you are struggling with the same type of conditions that I am, that you'll always get a chance to express yourself 
Um, but if you monopolize the conversation, you will alienate those people. They, they won't want to be your friends because, let's face it, who wants to be best friends with a motor mouth? And honestly, I find myself doing that a lot. So just kind of bear that in mind. Other than that, there are other things you can do too. Like I've actually had <laughs> practice conversations with my parents before I go out. Um, you know, trying to say, okay, I need to stop here and I need to let that other person talk or, and I got to think to myself all the time, like, okay, I'm about to make a, I'm about to make a statement. Is what I'm about to say going to offend someone or is what I'm about to say going to be important to where they think they, they're going to want to go ahead and interject and say something? Or am I just saying it because I think I need to say something because there's a lull in the conversation? That's absolutely, absolutely fine. You, you don't have to be talking all the time. So kind of bear that in mind. Um, I hope that helps a few more of you guys out. I'm literally about to head into the tunnel, so I am going to go ahead and pause this vlog. We'll see what the rest of the day brings. Hopefully I get some good items at the Goodwill Retail Center. And I'll talk to you guys on the flip side. All right, tubers. I'm back home about quarter to noon. Uh, didn't get anything over in Hampton, the Goodwill Retail Center, the computer shop. They had two old Dell towers, uh, both with bad power supplies and both way overpriced. So, yeah, it is what it is. Going to have to keep up on them, see what else they put out. I have made contact with the tech there and another person that works there. So I can call them whenever I need systems and they'll let me know if they're going to be putting them out. They can't be specific about um, what they are because that wouldn't be fair to other people but they'll let me know if they're going to be putting anything out that day just finished my lunch and I want to give you guys a little bit of a nutrition um, tip those of you that are on a lifestyle change like I am if you are a peanut butter fanatic like dad and I are we love peanut butter I eat peanut butter on almost anything bread carrot celery however I am switching instead of peanut butter I picked up this Maranatha almond butter. Now, almond butter is a lot better for many reasons. One, it has much better fat than peanut butter. This actually has um, the ingredients here, are dry roasted almonds, organic evaporated cane sugar, palm oil, and sea salt. That's it. It doesn't have the hydrogenated oils like regular peanut butter does. Now, the only negative to this is the price. Almond butter costs about five times what regular peanut butter does. Um, but if you're lucky, you can find it on sale. Like I purchased this at Harris Teeter the other day, um, basically for half price. It was originally um, $10.49, and I paid $5.24, so basically half price. You guys can see the uh, label right there. Um, it is a little bit of an acquired taste, though. Almond butter tends to be a little bit more on the drier side. Um, and, of course, it tastes like almonds instead of peanuts. And another good thing about this, those of you that have peanut butter allergies, chances are that you won't be allergic to this because this is made from almonds, which are actually nuts. Believe it or not, peanuts are not a nut. They're part of, of the legume family, so they're pretty much like a bean. So just a little bit of a nutrition tip. If you can afford it, and you like the taste of it, switch out your peanut butter eating and go with almond butter and you'll be able to uh, hopefully increase your metabolism. That's another benefit of this too. I'm going to go ahead and pause the vlog. Mom and I have to do some shopping. I hope you guys are enjoying these. Um, stay tuned for some more garage sale finds, hopefully coming within the next few weeks. As a matter of fact, um, spring ahead tomorrow so don't forget that you have to set the clocks ahead one hour for tomorrow and not only that the weather in the foreseeable future at least around here the temperatures are going to go up so hopefully we'll have some more garage shell finds uh, next week and i'll talk to you guys on the flip side all right tubers so i will show you the one thing that i did pick up today at a uh, garage shell this was at a local garage shell within the few miles of my house and I got a great deal on this. I will let you know I paid $4 for this. This is a Westinghouse branded television. Uh, it's 22 inch, uh, slim eco. I'm not sure what that says, vivid. I believe this is an LED set, um, just judging by how thin it is. Full HD, so 1080p. 
Uh, it does have one HDMI port. And the weird thing about these, and I really don't like the when the way they're doing this nowadays, they actually put the controls on the back. You can see that uh, you got your power, uh, input, channel up and down, volume up and down, and then your menu button. But it just makes it very hard, especially because nine times out of ten, they do not include the remote controls for these. Um, but for $4, I really can't complain too much. I will probably pair this off with a computer that I sell. Um, and this will be a good monitor. I've already tested it. It works perfectly fine. You can see right there, it is model number TW. Hey, stop shaking. <laughs> TW-66101-TO22A. I don't actually see a date of manufacture on here, but if I had to guess, it'd probably be some, around maybe 2009 to 2011. Um, ports on the side here, you have your service port. That is a service port, but I bet you that would also double as a USB power port for powering um, like Amazon Fire Sticks or Google devices. Um, you have your composite video up here with your coax on top for audio then underneath if you can see right there you have your hdmi port right there uh composite video vga uh coax in and then your pc audio in. so basically if you were running this um to your PC via the VGA port, you would also have to run a separate uh, audio jack uh, since VGA does not carry an audio signal. Now, in my case, I'll be just using the HDMI port, which carries the video and the audio signal. And that's really what I love about HDMI. So yeah, not a bad deal at all for a 22 inch monitor. Um, you can find these in the thrift stores, but generally they want to charge a lot more for them. Um, I paid $4 for this, which is about the average price I would pay for one of these from a garage sale. Um, if I had to buy this at the thrift store, I'd probably be paying more in the $25 to $30 range. So it is a significant savings um, going to the garage sales and shopping for these versus getting them at the thrift store. So just a little top tip for you guys. Garage sale season is coming upon us. Make sure you get out there. And the best advice I can give you is to get out there early. The garage sale that I got this from said they advertise it is starting at 8 in the morning. And they had people there at 7 a.m. So get up as early as possible. You know, Friday night, go to bed early. Um, take some melatonin. Take some diphenhydramine. Whatever you need to to get to sleep soon so you can wake up early. Go out there and find the best deals at your local garage sales. Talk to you guys in a few. All right, Mom. Tell everybody what we're going to do. Oh, Saturday grocery shopping. Yep, this is our Saturday grocery shopping. We're going to go to Aldi. Where else we got to go? BJ's Walmart? BJ's and Walmart. BJ's and Walmart. Oh, she's got a runny nose uh, like I do. That's all right. Let's hold, head over to Aldi first. Uh, yeah. And we'll see what or kind Walmart. of... Or Walmart. Either one. All right. We'll see what kind of goodies they have. Hopefully, they got some deals. And we'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, here we are at Walmart. Really cold out right now, and the wind is blowing like crazy again. <laughs> Girl Scouts are here selling the cookies, but I'm going to be good. I am not going to partake this year. have enough sweets at home anyway. I'm going to check out their clearance section. This is the other Walmart I don't usually get to go to, so I'm curious to see what they have. Follow me in and uh, see if we can find anything good. Talk to you guys shortly. Don't you guys know what? I always get the one with the bad wheel. Let's see if this one works any better. Nope. Maybe third time's the charm. Yep. Third time's the charm. Got some clearance stuff here right at the beginning. An LED flashlight. Actually, I have tons of those at home. Easy tree mount. Camera tree mount. Oh, that's cool. This is like for a uh, trail camera. You would drill that into the tree and then mount your camera on there. It's actually really cool. I just don't know if I'd ever have a need for it. Hamilton Beach Sound Shield. <laughs> Check this out. It's a uh, easy tree mount. You actually drill that into the tree and then you can mount your camera. Like a trail camera or something. Isn't that cool? I just don't see what I would... I don't think I'd ever have a use for it. This is all clearance stuff. Oh, 
That's more mom speed, right? This kind of stuff? No, you don't like the floral pattern? I do. Is it stoneware dishwasher and microwave safe? That's that's pretty cool. These are nice too. These are really good if you guys are making like a Chinese stir fry. See how they're concave like that? That keeps all the juices towards the middle of the plate. And last but not least, Pac-Man seat cover. Won't fit my van though. All right, well, I think I've done everything I can here. Let's go in the back and see what we can find. All right, so mom's looking at some rugs. What are you thinking of getting? Uh, rugs for my bathroom. I don't have any Let rugs. me show them the colors. Let me I see the colors. I usually have lavender. I don't know if purple's gonna be too, too dark. It's close enough, I think, because you have that kind of color in the bathroom. I'm going to ask Dad. I'm going to ask him to go look and see if I have pink in the tile. I can't remember. I'm not that crazy about that. That That's almost like hot pink, though. I don't think that would work very well. Yeah, I don't know how the purple I don't know. I think the purple's better. I don't know. Guys, tell, let me know what you think. I, you guys probably remember the color better than I do. I just don't pay attention. They That's true. Lavender, but I don't see no, anymore. just they got the purple and the pink. Definitely not the aqua or blue. the or the green. There is blue in Let me tile. pull off that. one of the blues real quick. The blue I definitely have. Let me see. Then I don't know if I want blue. Eh, it's kind of it's kind of just basic. I mean, well, this it, is what you are in your bathroom. I know, but you want it to pop out a little bit. Yeah. I would go with the purple. I think you got something close enough to that. I'll try it. I'll try All right, it. we'll try the purple. Where are you going next? I don't know. I was going to look at some of the other ones. Um, um, do you want to look at raisins here? I'll, no, I'm going to get them at Aldi. They're okay. cheaper there. Right, I'm going to look and see about um, some soda for Dad. All right, I'm going to go look at the clearance section. All right, hold. All right, down the clearance aisle. Whoa, here's some more of those uh, flashlights. The way they pile everything here, it just falls down on you. Pretty cool. Home is where I'm with you. That's cute. I don't think for five dollars though. Got a little bit of everything here. You can see in this one, it actually spans two aisles, and they actually have the balloons up here to show you where the clearance stuff is. And I like the way they did this. You can see it goes from one dollar all the way to forty dollars. So at least on the actually it's on both sides. You know what you're paying for each item. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't notice at first it was on both sides. What they got over here? Little oven thermometer. We actually had one of these, the Accurites. The problem is the digital ones, they just don't hold up. The uh, heat of the oven degrades them pretty quickly. I'm not seeing too many electronics here, unfortunately. Got some bike seats. That looks really uncomfortable. Yeah, the big one's $11. That's not too bad. You want protection for both your cheeks because when I ride a bike, I ride a bike for a long, long time. $11, that was originally $20. I might consider that, but I'm going to look around a little bit more. But I told you I'd show you guys what our Walmart has, and this is pretty much it. Not a lot of electronic stuff, at least in, uh, at least in this Walmart. Mega Bright USB rechargeable light for $11. Wow, up to 2,000 lumens. That is really bright. I mean, this is like almost daylight bright. All right, I'm going to do some more shopping, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. All right, everybody, this is a deal and a half. Check this out. Size 12 pair of memory foam boots. These are the uh, George brand ones. I think that's like a Walmart house brand. They were $34.88. Check it out, everybody. Five bucks. Definitely going to be picking those up. I'm actually surprised that they had my size. Usually they only have 10s and below. See, that's a 10. Got an 11 there. These are 11s. So that is definitely a deal and a half. And I'm pretty sure these are women's right here. Although they're pretty cool. I can imagine when the weather is really bad, if it's snowing, you want to have boots kind of like that. All right, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and try these on, and as long as they fit, I'm going to get them for five bucks. We'll see what else we can find. I'm going to catch up with Mom in a few minutes, and I'll talk to you guys on the flip side. All right, everybody, so what do you think? Giving them a try. They feel really comfortable. 
I think they look really good on me. Try the marching in place. And the cool thing is, they actually have memory foam built into the uh, insole. So, guess what, Tubers? I'm sold. They're coming home with me for sure. Talk to you guys in a bit. All right, Tubers, so we're in Aldi. And we're shopping for this stir-fry meal that I'm going to be showing you guys. I don't know when we're going to cook it. Probably a couple of days from now. Which ones did you pick up so I far? I teriyaki. What do you think about Thai peanut? That might be good, you, that and teriyaki. Should I mix them? Yeah, instead you can mix them together. Instead of two teriyaki? Teriyaki Asian sauce. Yeah, I don't see why not. Mix they them sound have good. The same. No, mix them. mix them. You get a better flavor yeah, that way. And got some mushrooms for that and then uh, some cauliflower. I don't know if we're going to do the cauliflower no, the same me. day. No, not But me. they have good deals on The cauliflower was like $1.80. I got all the uh, oriental stuff at Walmart. The, the uh, baby corn, the bean sprouts, the cauliflower. Yeah, the cauliflower. Yeah, cauliflower. Okay, cool. And then I got some raisins, which I put in my oatmeal. I'm really into raisins now instead of the um, maple syrup like I've been eating. So we got some more shopping to do, and I'll catch you guys when we get back home. All right, tubers, I'm back home. It's uh, about 3 o'clock right now, and I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here today. But before I do, I want to show you a few things I picked up today at BJ's, the wholesale club that we have near our house. Um, they were having a huge sale on clothes. I picked up three things at a deep get discount. First thing here is a River Edge Alpine Fleece Pullover. Size large. That's right, everybody. I am in a large now. This was original MSRP was $70. The ones that were dotted blue were $4.96. I got this for $5. What does that make it? About a 99, maybe 98% reduction in price. Awesome deal on a really, really nice uh, coat. Next, I picked up two of these. These are Van Housen, Van Husen, I think you pronounce it. Flex shirts, again, large. Sorry about that, everybody. I hit the button by mistake. Uh, again, this is a Van Husen flex shirt. MSRP on this was $50. This is a black one. Again, the blue dot. This was $5. Fantastic deal. And last but not least is another Van Heusen shirt here. This one's an extra large just because that's the only size they had in the uh, bluish color. I, could, I would call this like a cobalt blue. That one's a black shirt. Again, this is the Natural Flex. And this one, MSRP, I believe was $50 as well. Got this for $5. So great scores today at my local BJ's Wholesale Club. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today. Please continue to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.